Hello friends, Sentinel H here, and welcome back to our Civilization VI Let's Play here as Norway. So in the last episode, if you recall, um, Scythia finally capitulated. She would had enough of the war, and as part of her peace agreement, she agreed to let me have Mariv, which is the entire thing that I wanted in the first place. Funny enough, by the time we got the Armada down here to block off her reinforcements, we'd already killed all of her reinforcements, and she wasn't sending anymore, and then she capitulated. So I don't know if, if, the, uh, if the Armada had anything to do with that, but, um, you know, she definitely couldn't take... There's a, there's a musketman right there. Uh, she definitely could not continue the fight. She gave up. Which is great for us. So now, if you remember, we have up we're able to upgrade our ships to frigates. There we go. A lovely, lovely frigate. Which I believe gives us the most powerful ships in the on the water at the moment, because I don't think anyone else has uh, frigate tech. I've got a quadream here that I need to upgrade. So I've upgraded um, our longboat into a caravel. We're gonna upgrade the rest of these quadreams into frigates and we will no longer need to be producing quadreams. So over here I've got a quadream and I need to move into my territory so I can upgrade it. We have gone for the policy that reduces our upgrade cost because, you know, we knew we were going to be upgrading a ton of ships. So we'll move this over here and we'll upgrade him to a frigate. We make about 70 gold per turn. Um, well, 67 now. These frigates are expensive to maintain. So unfortunately we can't really afford to be constantly upgrading these things because we're going to run out of money. We're going to need to get ourselves more money, which means more trading. So we've got our cities built up. So as our trade routes mature now, we're going to start using them to get to, to, to um, acquire money rather than boost the early production of these cities. So that's going to give us a lot of cash because we have a lot of uh, trade routes. I My government type is a theocracy. One, because I didn't want to become a merchant republic because we need the military slots but I also um, wanted more economic slots than the um, than the, uh, the monarchy was giving us so we have our gold from trade routes we have our gold from envoys we have maintenance reduction reduced we have maintenance uh, unit maintenance reduced we have a 50% discount 15% faster growth for cities not on our continent and actually let's check the continent just to see what we got here so this continent is Ur. This continent. Is it also Ur? Are you kidding me? Why? They're two separate land masses. Okay, I don't like how the continent system works in this game. Because look, this is still Ur. This is still Ur. So this isn't benefiting us at all. Or is it all Ur? Do we only have one continent on this map? No, here's another one. Africa. So you gotta get all the way over there? Wow. So this is not benefiting us one little bit. That is disheartening. So we're gonna have to change colonial offices because it's not benefiting us at all. That's stupid. Why is this not a separate continent from this? It's a separate landmass. I mean, this probably isn't big enough to even qualify as a continent, but We'll get into that later. I'll, I'll quit uh, uh, you know, being mad about that and we'll actually do something productive. We need housing in Christensen. Christensen doesn't have any. It's 9 of 10. I don't think there's any way for us to get more housing at the moment because we can't get any more districts. Um, we need uh, t to grow again, so we need to wait 18 turns. Um, I could build more farms, I suppose. Let's take a look. We've got a growth in 18 because our food surplus is only 1.6. I want to unlock the cattle and the horses. The cattle will give us food. Um, I want to unlock this right here to put a lumber mill on. Now we could put farms right here, but again, we can only have two connecting unless I've got rid of this forest and stuck another farm there. But I don't really feel like doing that. One, two, three, one, two, three. We can't ever get over here, so these two could be farms. But again, we couldn't ever have another one because of the way that we've placed some stuff. So, eh, it's interesting. Um, we'll be able to get Christensen some more food, probably. But it's going to require us. It's going to require some other methods, probably. 
Are they currently the ones working the... Yeah, they're working the crabs. The crabs are important to them. They're actually not working that yet. So they're not that desperate to work an empty two food tile. And they're still not working this farm. Well, they must not need food that badly then. They don't have enough people probably. So what are we going to do in Christensen? Well, there's a couple of options. Um, I want it to get up to nines and ten, so I don't want to build a settler here just yet. Although we could because, you know, more settlers is, is better. I actually don't know if Arabia is going to make it down here. These horsemen, and there's a lot of barbarian stuff around here, so uh, maybe the barbarians will take out these Arabian settlers because I'd like to send my settler down here. Um, looks like a pretty good location for a city down here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Do, do, do. No, we couldn't put it over here. I'd want to put it somewhere to get all the stone and copper. And there's a lot of cattle here that could give us our food. And, um, yeah, putting a city right here, you, you wouldn't get the stone over here. So we'd have to put it, like, right here, maybe, on this uh, coast right there. On top of the copper. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, we could put it one on top of the copper. Uh, but we'll see. I want some more cities down here. And in fact, we might want to put more than one city down here. Just because. Um, actually, yes. We, we definitely want more than one because it's big enough. Oh, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. No, I did it again. Okay, at least I can move this guy here. We'll upgrade him with a musket man. Replaceable parts have increased. We don't have a lot of money. Um, let me see if we can't trade with some people for stuff that they don't have. Unfortunately, he has all the same luxuries that we do. A joint war. Uh, does he want an alliance? No. He does. Would that alliance immediately throw me into a war? Yes. He's currently at war with Scythia and Japan. No, I don't want an alliance with Pericles. <laughs> No. Hey, dude. Do do you want some of this? Le. Will you give me some money? Wait, you want me to pay you to take this? Are you kidding? Don't be stupid, dude. Le. I'll just like reduce this. I'm sure at some point point you'll agree to it. Nah, he just doesn't like me, so he won't. Uh, he doesn't like me either. They don't like me, so they won't give me very good deals. Hey, you want this? What would you give me? One gold for 30 turns. Ha! <laughs> uh. Well, how about you just give me, like, 50 gold? He won't even give me 50, huh? 40. So he'll only give me... He won't even give me 30. He'll just give me one for 30 turns. He won't give me 30 right, up, right away. All right. We need to smooth things over with Germany. We got a lot of mercury. We're not doing anything with it. Let's gift him some mercury. It'll make him. It'll make him happier. It might take a while to actually work, but it will actually make him happier. Okay, now that we're no longer at war, um, you have no money, <laughs> probably because of the war. <laughs> so uh, never. Well, here, never mind. Uh, let's not do anything with you. What about you, Hojo? You've got a ton of cash. Do you want mercury? Would you give me cash for it? No, see, you've got the most cash in the game. But because you don't like me, you still won't, you know, give me any. You know, come on. Be reasonable. So, I don't know what we're going to do in Christensen. I just need more money. Um, we're going to build a trader then, because we need more traders. We can have one more. So, over here at Stavanger, uh, we're obviously going to go ahead and build the lighthouse. One more food, one more gold, one more housing, one more citizen slide. Yeah, lighthouses are great. Um... Over here at Mariv, we have a musket man, and we also have this crossbowman, the long strikers. We can't upgrade them until we have riflemen. So what are we going to do with this musket man? Well, we're definitely going to send the musket man down here to try and reinforce that area. Here we have a builder, and it wants us to put farms here, and I understand why, but at the same time, I don't want to. <laughs> Um, I would much rather we acquire some more of these niter mines, but I obviously can't buy them because we don't have any money. We're currently working both of these tiles. If I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with putting a farm here for now, but we can't go there because of these stupid missionaries. 
I have to go over here. And there's nothing wrong with placing a farm down and then getting rid of it later. We're going to put a harbor right here on Oslo. Um, although maybe we won't put the, far the harbor right there. Because there's already at Bergen over here. Why don't we... Maybe we, we will want to put Oslo's harbor over here somewhere. Just because it'll give us a, another location. To, our harbor will be closer to them, but maybe not. Maybe we'll put it over here. This will be a really well defensive, uh, a very strong area. There's three ports over here. Did we ever build one in Draman? Yeah, we did. So there's three ports right over here. It's be like our tri port area. Adelson's port is obviously over here, so we can uh, get ships into this area. We can build ships and have them sent over there. So you go ahead and build a quarry. So we get some gold as well as uh, production and um, lovely, lovely food. Of course, we were already getting food. So it's going to take 12 turns left to finish the harbor in Aelzen, unfortunately, because Aelzen doesn't have a ton of production. Um, we could improve that. By, we could have improved that by building something else first, but, you know, I want more builders here to upgrade these tiles, obviously, but we don't have them yet. They're working this tile which I need a quarry there because it would definitely improve it but I can't afford to buy a uh, builder and you can't I can't I can only build military units with faith and that won't help us out so here's a swordsman I can't afford to upgrade him uh, we got our bombards over here which I am in the process of sending over in case Arabia attacks us I will attempt to use them against Aleppo in, in, in order to break their spirit um, and you know if you get a, if you get attacked and you get a city out of it it's always great and it looks like Arabia only has Aleppo and Cairo there's probably another city right here but they've only got the three they're all on the water too which means that my caravels could um, savage their ports which is always nice I want to take this quadrium out of here and I want to go get it upgraded so um, we're gonna like tell it to go over there Oh, we've left the Admiral behind. Forms an armada. We might actually do some armadas uh, if we want if, to. Um, we may actually use the armada ability of some of these guys just to get ourselves a bunch of ships. We already have a bunch of ships, so I don't know. Send this guy back so he can be upgraded because these quad dreams are useless. There's a German galley. The quad dreams really are useless some more coal and, and a lot of copper up here but of course nobody wants to farm found a city up there venta i know we haven't really done a whole lot i've just been exploring some stuff bombard we'll skip you and we've got here this quadrim that can it flip places with this no so in order to upgrade this quadrim we just have to wait skip it and then there's a crossbowman we can promote. Range strength versus land and naval units. Or garrison. Um, we're going to go with Aerostorm. I always go with Aerostorm. I don't know if it's the best, but it's the one I always go with. And then we're going to skip this guy's turn. And we've got this uh, caravel that can go like somewhere else. We've got a lot of caravels. We're slowly upgrading our quadrimes into frigates. It's costing a lot of money. So we need to acquire more money. Combat strength for naval units. Here we've got a caravel that's been doing some exploration. Go explore over here because there's a lot that we don't know about uh, where Japan's at. they got the pyramids. We know that now. Here's Osaka, Japan. And it looks like they've got... They're, a, they're ahead of us in tech. Not surprisingly. I mean, we're right on the... Well, we're right on the border of the industrial zone era, and we're going to get industrialization soon. So, so that's what they've done. They've probably gotten industrialization. I don't think we have anywhere to place the Ruhr-Valleys. Oh, well. <coughs> it would be great to place the Ruhr-Valley somewhere. <coughs> and Aelzind has the most mines. <coughs> but I think the Ruhr-Valley needs to be by a river. <coughs> There's no rivers. Yeah, a river. Along a river adjacent to an industrial zone. Yeah, there's no rivers around Aelzen, unfortunately. Um, we could put it in Mariv. Does it benefit just all mines? Yeah, we're going to have a lot of mines in Mariv. So technically, this could be a good location for the Ruhr Valley. It has to be 
along a river. It doesn't say it can't be on along a river on a hill. I mean, we could put the river valley like right here on this desert tile too. It's actually floodplains though, so we can't. Oh, crap. Whatever. Let's go. I think we've only passed one turn so far, it's because we've been doing a lot of exploring. Oh yeah, the apostle. Where is he at? No, where's the where's the apostle? He's right here. So we were going to take this apostle and we were going to send him down here to try and deal with all of these missionaries. Look at all these missionaries. There's so many of them. I mean, of course there are. It's freaking Arabia. Our units gain a bonus in theological combat because we're um, a theology, but he's probably a theology as well. Nope, his strength is lower than ours. Fantastic. So we'll be able to beat him in theological combat. So we've got my, our knight. Um, let's take our knight and put him over here. Next turn, come on. We're going to make a crossbowman in one turn. We'll leave him in Bergen. I need to garrison all of these cities. All of these cities. Look at all these missionaries. It's a flood. My units don't have reduced effectiveness while embarked. because I could use my apostles on the water. I could have a, a waterborne apostolic fighting force. we got to take out these missionaries. There's so many. They're trying to spread their stupid religion in our territory. We don't want we don't want Islam. We want to worship the memes. So the frigates have a really long uh, moving range, and of course they have a two attack range. So these frigates are awesome. Um, put that there, put that there. Up there. Frigates are great. So we're going to skip this turn again because we can't afford we can't move them there. Crossbowing will fortify there. Um, create the escort formation and actually probably going to oh grants one promotion level and 50% combat to a military yeah that's CS not right no, we're not going to use that the other guy creates the armada we're going to use him on a frigate um, to get an armada our first like armada of frigates this quad dream is going to go here we can't afford to upgrade this turn but we're going to next turn skip we just need the money Okay, so this quadrim needs to make its way back. No, don't go that way. You can't go that way. Are you just too stupid? You keep depositing Santa Cruz. We don't want to lose Santa Cruz. I'm going to quit doing that. I'm going to have to do it more manually. They're too stupid. Musket man. Boom. Kill it. No problem. Scout that saw that found us is now dead. Promotion for our caravel. Uh, helmsman, plus one movement. I love increasing movement. Uh, our ships need to be able to move all over the place. Combat strength versus naval units is obviously awesome, but whenever we can get like more movement, I think it's always worth it. I can't afford to. I don't want to lower my thing by two gold. It would get two production, but the two. I think I value the two gold more right now. We need gold, so. We probably need commercial hubs. Unfortunately, there's no good location to put a commercial hub in Bergen. No, not an entertainment complex. I'd have to place it like right here or right there. Again, it's not a good location. I mean, we could always override this farm, but there would be no benefit. We can't place it adjacent to the harbor either because it's right in between these mountains. What I really need are our campuses, though. I don't have enough science. Um, I really need more science. So, let's check out campuses. Obviously, putting it here, getting plus four science would be amazing. But they're working this for food. They have a food surplus of only 1.9, which, well... Mm, basically, if they stopped working this they would start working this and have the same amount of food but one less production. They'd have to sa sacrifice a production in order to gain the science. But it's probably more than worth it. So let's do it. Let's build a campus right there. Now if we click on Bergen and we check it out, they should be working that tile. Awesome. I can upgrade that tile. Um, they still have 1.9 food surplus. They're still fine. Seven turns for that. Settler. This is the big one. Where is my next city going to go? The game says I should build one over here. It would get iron. It would get cattle. Crabs. Fish. 
Although this Maria will also gain that fish at some point. It would be really close to Scythia, and she wouldn't like it. But I wouldn't care. But I don't think I want a city here. I don't think there's enough resources to make it worthwhile. I mean, there's more iron, but I don't need it. I want to settle cities down here. I want to extend down into this area. There's a lot of desert down here, which means we would need Petra if we had a city that was too close to the desert. I can probably fit one, two, two cities in here with all the resources that are there, but it looks like Arabia is going to make it. They're going to get around the barbarians, but we're not just going to give up. Unfortunately, if they don't move that Mamluk, we can't get our guys over there. Let's sail a caravel over here just so we can see more of the shore of Scythia. There is a harbor here. There's obviously a city in this... Right here. Kostromovskaya is right there, but we can't see it. It's somewhere in here. Unfortunately, we can't see it with our caravel. We'll move away now. She won't like it if we sit there. We have to move it further because she still won't like it, but who cares. Bombards. Still moving over here. We're going to position them around Oslo. Right over here, near the border with Aleppo. Same with our knight. We're going to move him over there. It's a bit of an open area, so he'll be okay over there. He'll get some amount of benefit. We've got a frigate here. Move it over there. And so I hope you guys... Ooh, Japan, Japanese privateers. So it looks like Japan is probably going to be our main military rival in the water. If you look at the world rankings before we end, we're at, um, Japan's leading the religious victory, and we're actually in second place. Converted cities. He gets a lot more faith, though. We're, we have the most military strength at 997, um, which is all of our ships. And that's going to keep going up the more that we upgrade. However, I'm in third place in uh, technologies. I've reached 32, he's reached 33 and 34. So we're not that far behind. But, and we have more science per turn than the leaders. And we actually have the most science per turn of the game. That's surprising to me because I only have the one university. But I guess that's enough because these guys just aren't building science. So once we get Bergen's campus up and running, we'll have quite a bit of science and we'll be you know, in a good position. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the episode. I know we didn't pass very many turns uh, this episode, which is disappointing to me. I still need to turn off the turn limit. I don't know why it's on. But... Um, I still hope you enjoyed it. So like and comment below if you did enjoy it. I have a birthday party to go to today, so that's going to be fun. I hope that whatever you guys are doing today, you have a nice time, a nice day. So please um, join our Discord if you're interested. And uh, yeah, have a great day. I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.